Hello, welcome to the Music Hall Minute. Well, in all honesty, these have kind of turned into the Music Hall 6 Minute, uh, but it's still a weekly update of what's happening at the Hall during our closure. I'm Monty Bohannon, Director of Marketing and Communications here at the Music Hall, and on behalf of everyone, the board, the staff, our fantastic volunteers, I wish to welcome you to this week's edition of the Music Hall Minute. This week's update is sponsored by Port Walk Place. They've been our season sponsor for the past seven years. We look forward to seeing our Port Walk friends here at the Music Hall soon and returning to the Aria Lounge for our Music Hall book club. I can't wait to see what we've got in store. Highlights this week, we've got our backstage tour part two, um, which I think we're going to cut to right now. Kristen? If you look very carefully, you can see our trash candelier. This used to be... Uh, the only chandelier now. It's a tra metal trash can lid with three lights stuffed through it now. It used to have six. Here we are again up on the fly floor through this little homunculus door behind this stack of weights. We are right above the proscenium arch. Those little cherubs there. Valentino. Hat Brothers baggage. November 8th, 1886. There again, some newer ones. There's Isaiah Clark Knowles. Drika Overton. And then another, another old one. C.H. Kennison. March 28th. 1881, and this guy down over here, Trevor Bartlett. And then this, I promised to show you uh, the absence of a thing. Right here is where the big air handler HVAC unit for the music hall used to be. Right down there, you can just see the stairs into the opera box on house left. Here you can see out over the dome of the music hall and there great big support beams tie in the roof and the walls and right out over there just just a glimmer of a doorway at the top of the dome um, there church bell. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, up next this week, we've got our Fill the Hall food drive coming up June 27th. That's our annual collaboration with Gather, where we try and pack the hall full of food for their Summer Meals for Kids program. Uh, this year, that program has extended to feed more children uh, for a longer period of time. In fact, they've been doing it since the schools closed, uh, and they really need our help. It's going to look a little different this year. Um, there'll be curbside drop-off for food. You can also make donations online. Uh, there's a special link that uh, will get your donation attributed to Fill the Hall. We'll still fill the hall with empty bags, so it'll act as kind of our thermometer to show our progress, but we're hoping to fill the hall twice this year and really help those in need in our community um, at a time where they need us most. So please, please consider a donation, either cash or food on the day. Um, donations can be made now, information on the website. We're also looking for volunteers to organize their neighborhoods, collect food, and bring it in um, on June 27th. So if you're interested in volunteering as a neighborhood captain, see our website. There's information there. Or reach out to me. Uh, thanks again for considering that. Also this week, I wanted to highlight um, our staff blogs. You can get to know a staff member. Um, we're a bunch of weirdos, but we're kind of your weirdos. Um, get a look at what each one of us does, what brought us here, and also what we do when we're not here. 
my preference is midnight underwater basket weaving. It's true. Just a quick update with our executive director. We have a new one, as you may have heard. Um, her name's Tina Sautel. She'll be officially starting July 1. Um, she's our current CFO, and we'll be sitting down with her in the coming weeks to get to know her a little bit better. So keep an eye out for that. May Membership Month continues. There are two raffles left, a weekend Telluride pass, and a holiday package including two center orchestra seats for opening night of White Christmas, and an invitation to the post-show opening party with the cast. Um, there's also great discounts on White Christmas tickets. There are also great benefits being a member with downtown businesses reopening. A lot of them have supported the music hall. They are part of our discount program. They sponsor our events or they buy um, placement in our playbill. Those downtown businesses have supported raffles, school fundraisers, fund runs, and us, and it's time to return the favor. Please consider supporting the businesses in your community that do good. Um, and thanks again um, to those businesses and especially to this week's sponsor, Port Walk Place. I was really excited to get outside this past weekend, planting a garden with my family um, and doing lots of yard work and cardio after last week's fiasco. Of course, no uh, fly floor would be complete without. Yeah. Anyway, we miss you. We look forward to seeing you hopefully soon. Until then, stay safe, stay creative, keep looking out for one another, and together we'll get through this.